Hi, it's Mark coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. Um, this video, I titled it before I made it, and uh, the title of the video is Paper Tigers and Politics. And I want to bring to your attention this letter that I alluded to uh, at the time of my boar's untimely death. That was last Sunday, today's Sunday too. Um, this letter came from the Attorney General's office on Friday. Uh, last week, and uh, you know, it's stamped right across it. It says confidential, and we didn't know uh, what we could share of this and not share. So, um, the reason the video is titled Paper Tigers and Politics is because uh, last summer I was accused of doing what I am doing for political reasons, and uh, that was. I didn't understand why anybody would say that because I've never had any political aspirations. When I got out of the service in 2004, I went right into farming and I'm doing what I want to do. However, I realized that uh, politics is where people's constitutional rights are preserved and protected. And, um, you know, a person has to do what they're called on to do. Uh, so I'm not saying that I'm ruling politics out at this point, but at the time that this began, it had nothing to do with politics. The other thing that I was accused of is swatting at paper, paper tigers, I was called, a Don Quixote. And a paper tiger has absolutely no threat, no teeth, and so someone who would swat at that would be a fool. Okay, um, this letter came, and uh, it was in response to a letter that we sent to the Attorney General, Bill Shooty's office uh, requesting a parlay. Let's be adults about it. Let's talk about this. We know that the DNR is way off the deep end, but, you know, this was thrown in your court, Mr. Shooty. Let's, why don't we talk about this before we get in any deeper than we are? And this was a response that they sent to us. Basically, they tell us that we're going to lose in court terribly, and um, they list six uh, bullet statements, and... Um, I'll, I'll read those to you. Um, it says, uh, Mr. Baker agrees to depopulate his herd of swine within three months. Uh, depopulation can be accomplished through either slaughter or sale of the herd. To that extent, uh, the DNR will work with me to help me sell my herd. That's really good. That supposedly my pigs are the worst thing to ever walk the planet Earth, but uh, they're going to help me sell them. Maybe they'll want a cut of the action. I don't know. Mr. Baker allows DNR to make an inspection of his property uh, following the three-month period to verify that all swine have been depopulated. So they're asking me to give up my Fourth Amendment rights voluntarily. Uh, I don't plan to do that. Mr. Baker agrees not to populate his facility with any prohibited animals. And, and so I guess I better check with them if I want to get, say, black and white cows or something like that. I better check with, send a picture to the DNR and they'll let me know if I can keep them. Number four, DNR agrees, and this is what they're going to give me, okay? DNR agrees not to seek civil penalties against Mr. Baker, any of my associates or employees or any other person for actions they have taken associated with Mr. Baker's possession of prohibited swine. So they're saying that, okay, they won't seek several penalties against me, which, by the way, is $10,000 per animal. All right, and they outline that on page one. Uh, they finally do come out and say it. It says, it is our position that each animal constitutes a separate act for which a fine of up to $10,000 is available. They finally come out and say it. <clears throat> but here they're saying they're agreeing not to seek those penalties against me or my associates or my employees, I guess that's my kids, my wife, or any person affiliated with me uh, and my possession of prohibited swine. So I guess that would be like the feed truck driver, um, the guy that brings propane to the house. I guess him. Anyway, and then the DNR agrees not to seek its costs associated with enforcing the invasive species order against Mr. Baker. And then the DNR stipulates that the agreement resolves all pending matters 
all pending matters before the court and its adoption of the court's final order in this matter. So I'm agreeing that I will not sue them for the damages against me, my family, my, my uh, business. Um, and they don't want me to seek a takings. Uh, takings is when the state uses public domain to take something away from you. Let's say they want to put a highway through where your house is. They have to pay you for your house because it's, and they pay that out of taxpayers' money because it's, all, after all, done for the benefit of all taxpayers. So they're not going to pay me for the animals that they want me to depopulate. Okay. Now, my response to that <coughs> uh, was sent to uh, my senators and representatives. And I'll just read to you the last. You know, I, I consider it an ultimatum. I don't consider it an offer. And uh, at the end of this, I state here, I also attach as my response to the Attorney General's office concerning their ultimatum. I thought it was both fitting and appropriate to borrow General McAuliffe's response to General von Lutwitz on December 22nd, 1944, Bastogne, Germany. Not that this is war, but there are clear similarities between the between how the German High Command operated during that era and how the Michigan DNR operates in this state today. And my response is short and sweet, right there, okay? <clears throat> I think you should all feel the same way. Um, this is a regulatory agency, the DNR, that has decided my personal property is illegal and they are stating that I have to depopulate this. This was not the legislature's idea, not my elected officials idea. The DNR clearly does not care what my ele elected officials say, do, or think because they are going to press on with this, right? Um, we don't think it's right, we don't think it's fair, and we are going to fight this until the end. Now, to my accusers saying that uh, I'm swatting paper tigers or I'm doing this for personal reasons. Uh, shame on you because this letter states all the things that they plan to do to me, my children, and my associates. So if that's a paper tiger, 10,000 per animal, uh, that really is my farm because I have far way over 100 animals here and $10,000 per animal, they would own this property and that's the state threatening to do that. Now, I have not even had my day in court. My day in court comes in August, right? Um, the Attorney General has pushed this off and pushed this off and pushed this off, right? By the time I get to August, uh, we're already in tough shape as it is right now. How can we expect it to run a business when they completely cut off our cash flow? Okay, what can you do? I hope that you're upset by this, as I am. You can continue to fight shoulder to shoulder with me. I need dollars. I've told you that before. I'll say it again. It's just a fact. We need dollars. We have to pay lawyers, all kinds of expenses, and it doesn't seem like it's going to come to a close anytime soon. I also need, and I need this, I need networking. There are people that have made their donations and they can't give any more. I, I know times are tough. I know that. Uh, but I need networking. Um, that means mirroring these images, uh, these videos, talking about this, doing anything that you can to get this out on Facebook and Twitter and all those social... The, don't underestimate the power of those, those networking devices. And I need some effort on your part to actually do this. Now, me and my wife and kids have been bearing uh, the majority of this load. I need some help. Or, or we're not going to be able to fight this as effectively. Don't worry, I'm not going to quit. It's just not in me to do that. Um, yeah, that's it. Not a paper tiger, and not doing it for political reasons. So, that's it from Baker's Green Acres. Talk to you next time.